I would like to know if you can give me. Can you hear him? <clears throat> I would like to know if you can give me a simple process or practice that I can directly communicate with my uh, inner expanded self to answer any question that would come up at any time for me. Yeah, get happy and then ask. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and understand that the answer is going to come to you by a series of path revelations. Revelation isn't the perfect word. Realization is. Revelation makes it sound like someone else is revealing it to you. But someone else is revealing your path to you all the time. It's your being in the vibrational vicinity that causes you to realize it that is necessary. So it really is. Someone said to us the other day, and it's our favorite question of this era of conversation. Abraham, how do you get rid of doubt? And we said with a huge understanding it, it just sounded uh, flippant you get rid of doubt before you get it mm -hmm. which isn't very pleasing to someone who's got it <laughs> <laughs> but the the point that we want to make is you don't wake up with doubt every morning you just reconstitute it it's like you've got a little one of those little things that the kids put in the bathtub that when it gets wet it gets bigger you got a little tiny piece of doubt and then you spit on it first thing in the morning and it gets bigger <laughs> if you just leave it alone it wouldn't get bigger and so so every morning when you wake up it's gone and you bring it back every morning you wake up and it's gone and you bring it back and every morning you wake up and it's gone and you bring it back if you just wake up and don't make, don't bring it back then after a little while it won't be there so as we're visiting to you we know it is annoying because what we're really saying to you is once you get to this place then it's easy to maintain it and what you all want to say is well how do I get to that place and we say withdraw your attention from the things that cause you to feel negative emotion which means you just got to care about how you feel you have to make that your highest priority yeah Esther said but Abraham but it's true she so wanted to be right about it. It's true. It's fact. It's reality. And we said there are, is so much that is reality that you don't want to make your reality. Withdraw your attention from it. But that's easier said than done, isn't it? Because once there's momentum in something, it'd be nice. You have to be thinking. It'd be nice to come to a gathering like this and just push a reset button and have all of the beliefs that are that have momentum going on within you, have them be suspended for just a little while. But we really want you to understand they are suspended while you sleep. And if the next morning you focus a little more unconditionally, a little more unconditionally, after a while, all hindering beliefs will not have an effect in your experience. Their attraction power will diminish. So it requires understanding that you're in it for the long haul, not expecting the answer to come right here, right this red hot minute, but then noticing how often an answer does come, an answer does come, an answer does come, an answer does come. Anything, anything that you want, the, the, this is a powerful and true statement that will really serve you. I have this question, which I'm aware of because I'm focused on the conditions that produced it. I have this question which has simultaneously produced this answer. Because, as you said, you can't ask. The source doesn't answer. So, I still have this question. The answer just got bigger. Or I still have this problem. The solution just got bigger. So, Everything that you're focusing upon is creating a solution. The only question is, where are you in vibrational relationship to the solution? Are you fixated on the problem? Well, at some point, it is, begin again, it is beneficial. It's why you came into these bodies in this contrasting experience. It is beneficial for you to focus on the problem because the problem creates a solution which is motion forward. But it isn't beneficial to make a lifestyle out of this vibration. Because your inner being, when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. Even if it's not active in your human, physical, brain, conscious vibration. So you create, without meaning to, a vibrational wobble, you see. So at some point, 
It's really what the what, step one, step two, step three, step four is that we've been talking about. At some point, you have created enough solution that it's time for you to just allow the solution to be realized by you in its fullest form. Did you hear that? Did you, don't know, did you like the way that felt as it unfolded within you? So what we want to say to you is you could stop the wobble early, but maybe it's beneficial to let the problem get big enough that there's a bigger solution. Frankly, we think you like the drama of it. <laughs> You like big solutions, and you can't have big solutions without experiencing big problems. But, but there's something that can happen within you if you can understand the way the universe works. And if you're not making it an indictment on your morality or an indictment on your rightness or wrongness or anybody else's. In other words, we, we see you, not you so much, but as a people, put seeds in the ground and you seem patient enough to understand that there is a maturation process that's going to take place. And you're not out there stomping on the field. Come out. Come out now. <laughs> I want you now. You understand that there is a process of becoming. And so there's a constant process of becoming in everything. Do you believe that... A ask your question again as close to the way you ask it to begin with as you can. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I asked if there was a simple process whereby I could directly communicate or pose my question to infinite intelligence within my expanded self and directly um, receive yeah, well, that's what meditation does for mm. you. Meditation causes you, that's how Esther accessed us. Quieted her mind, spent nine months doing it, didn't take that long, but she didn't know it. Quieted her mind, quieted her mind. <laughs> They're talking to her a long time. Finally, we started drawing, <laughs> drawing letters with her nose. <laughs> By quieting her mind, everything that Jerry... Prim primarily wanted to know, began flowing. But the reason that we want you to look at it in this broader way is because words really do not teach. You could sit here all day, every day, and listen to the wisdom that flows from us, and there is a lot of it. <laughs> And it would not necessarily be meaningful to you unless you were in the vibrational vicinity of it. Because it doesn't matter. It, 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 it's the same as a radio station broadcasting on a frequency. If you've got your tuner set on a different frequency, you're not hearing what's being broadcast. And so the specific answer to your question is you can suspend uh, your troublesome, resistant beliefs through meditation. And in the suspension, meaning they're not active within you right now, of those resistant vibrations, the pure vibration of who you are can be realized by you in this moment. The question is, have you practiced the vibration of it enough for that to become your knowledge, not just something that you heard for a minute? It's like you could read a book with all of the wisdom in the world and every answer that is important to you, but whether you receive it and are able to apply it is a whole different thing. And that's why we talk about this year after year, decade after decade with so many of you, because you're in the process of modifying your vibrational frequencies in order to allow yourself. So our favorite thing that you put in this sentence that you repeated twice accurately is, is there a simple is there a simple way? And the answer is, yeah. You got to care about how you feel enough that you're willing to find the thoughts that feel good to you. That's the simple way. But you've spent some time being convinced by others around you that your happiness should not be your greatest priority. Your mother made it very clear her happiness was a greater priority. <laughs> there, are, there, are, there are a lot of things that you have sort of set aside that you have to reconstitute within yourself and wanting to feel good must be your highest priority and once you really get that once you really understand that when you feel good you are in sync with who you really are then 
everything that you're looking for comes. You see, this, this is another thing. Uh, we love your question so much. You're not looking for an answer. And you're not looking for a solution. You're looking for a pleasant path. Ah. <laughs> and having a goal, a solution, or an, an answer might be the reason that you're willing to focus on your path. But the thing that you have to understand is that you, when that answer comes, another question is going to come right along with it, and another, and another, and another, and another. It's never-ending questions and never-ending answers and never-ending problems and never-ending solutions, never-ending progress, never-ending motion forward. And when you finally accept that, so that there's not such a big gap between where you are and that solution that feels way out there, but there is appreciation that that solution that is way out there is inspiring stepping onto the path right here. And when you make peace with the never-ending, always unfolding path, which requires saying things to yourself and really meaning it, like, I'm in the right place at the right time, and I'm really doing good, and I'm doing the best that I can do, and where I am is just right. And there's not some outside judgment wanting me to be someplace that I'm not. Where I am is where I am. What is is what is. Where it's at is where it's at. And here is where I am. Here is where I am. But here is where I am. And this is how I feel about where I am. That's what matters. And if you can start feeling good about where you are, where you are will just keep feeling better and better and better and better and better and better and better. And better. But you're never going to get to that place that you think you want to be. Esther said... If you see me in the vicinity of another car dealership, <laughs> break my knees. <laughs> Do not let me buy another car that makes me happy for the afternoon. <laughs> Changing the oil is getting to be a problem. In other words, you, you cannot fill the void with anything other than a source, source energy. Helpful? Meditation is what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Meditation is what you're looking for. But meditation will bring answers. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> meditation will bring answers that you may or may not be ready to realize. Mm -hmm. We've been telling you this stuff for a long time. <laughs> but words don't teach. It's life experience that teaches, you see. So. The answer that you're looking for is if, if you can just find a way to feel more fun and to feel more free and to feel more happy and, and use every trick in every book that you can find to bring yourself to that, then what you're going to begin to notice is that you're happy, you're happy, you're happy, you're happy, you're happy. You feel good, you're happy, you have clarity, you're living life the way you intended and life is so delicious under those conditions. Esther used to say to Jerry, right from the beginning of the relationship, let's go get a Coke and pretend like we're on vacation. <laughs> because that feeling of being on vacation just felt so good. Doesn't that feeling of being on vacation, that feeling of no responsibility, nobody's looking for me, nobody's expecting anything of me, now, I don't need to be doing anything other than what I'm doing right now. It's that feeling of utter freedom, that feeling of being free, that feeling, that's who you are, that's how you were born, that's the way you are meant to be. But it's a vibrational adjustment that is necessary, then the conditions will conform. And after a while, you'll find yourself eagerly moving through all kinds of activities and all through ex all kinds of experiences. But in the absence of resistance, you're free-flowing, so it always feels good to you, you see. It's not about what you do. It's about the vibrational frequency you're standing in while you are doing it. That's what life is always about, you see. So instead of measuring yourselves with others about who's doing the most. Oh, that person only works that many hours, and that person makes way too much money per hour, and that. Instead of measuring that, if you would just measure the happiness factor, you will figure it all out, you see. Good. Enough? <laughs>